Come to Western Tennessee and you can catch sight of bald eagles, snow geese, and even white pelicans. But on this steamy Sunday morning, we are there to catch a glimpse of a rare species of Memphis jailbird leaving prison. Nora Jackson is officially a free woman today. A woman convicted of killing her own mother. We're good. And off we go into the wild blue yonder. It didn't feel real. I was just really scared that someone was going to tell me to come back in the building. Her name is Nora Jackson, and the astonishing crime for which she served 11 years is just one aspect of her astonishing story. So all this is new? Yeah. Since Ansley Larson, one of just a handful of friends Nora has left, drives her back into an outside world that's become oddly unfamiliar. And then we got in the car, and the prison was in the rearview mirror real fast. <laughs> you are speedy. Time now for slow, simple pleasures. Sipping a Starbucks latte. OK, try it now. Exploring a smartphone for the very first time. But where the button? OK, this is so unreal of me right now. And baby, it's not just for today. I know this. Nora asks to drive past the home where she was raised, the same house where her mother died. Do you want me to? Do anything? I want you to keep going. Okay. I'm trying to think of something to say to stop the tears. Let yourself go, baby. Stop trying to control it. It's okay. So many memories and so much pain saturate the silence. Echoes of a horrific murder. A panicked 911 call. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please, please help me. Please send somebody. Okay. And to hear Nora tell it, a miscarriage of justice. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of second degree murder as included in the indictment. Being incarcerated is tough in itself, but being incarcerated for something you didn't do is, is, is something else entirely. Please go back to your seat. It's very unusual to have an 18-year-old woman accused of killing her mother. 18-year-olds fighting with their mother, very common. 18-year-old killing her mother, almost never happens. It wasn't supposed to turn out this way. Nora and her mother, Jennifer Jackson, lived in this neighborhood just 10 miles from the raucous barbecue and blue scene of downtown's famous Beale Street. Mom was a successful bond trader, a triathlete, regular churchgoer. She raised her only child as a single mom. The fondest memories of your mother? Um, birthdays were a really big thing in my house. Um, it, it's really the little things, you know, holidays. Nora shared these precious photos of happier times together for mother and daughter. She also recalls shopping with Jennifer at the nicer stores in Memphis and says it was mom's favorite pastime. I don't think there's just one I can pinpoint, but just having a mom, you know, and. That's, that's kind of rough. As the only kid among her friends raised by a single working mom, she struggled to fit in. For her part, Jennifer Jackson was by all accounts a very permissive parent. And Nora admittedly pushed that freedom to the limit. I had a good life, you know. Um, I was <laughs> your typical Memphis teenager, I guess. Well, it depends on your definition of typical. Several people have described your life as one of partying and drinking and drugs. It didn't seem like a big deal to us at the time because that was that was our life. You know, we did. We did go to parties. You know, we did smoke marijuana. We did drink. Now I look back and I can't, you know, rectify who I was as a 16, a 17, or an 18-year-old. But at 18, Nora still hadn't graduated bouncing between five different high schools and finally homeschooled. She was a brat. Ansley Larson, a family friend who makes her living selling handmade jewelry, saw Nora as a diamond in the rough. She knew that because Jennifer often called her for advice on raising her difficult teen. Nora is extremely charming, even when she's a brat. And I just loved her from the minute I met her. My mother was not just a parent, but she was a friend. So when your friend is your disciplinarian, you know, you're, the rules are different for you. And there, there weren't rules for me the way there were for everybody else. So other parents thought you were the wild child. Yes, I was. I had earned that reputation, yes. Yes, the shoe fit. And Nora wore it till the heel came off. Which brings us to the turning point. The hotly disputed events of that steamy Saturday night in June, 12 years ago. School is out and the party is on. 
Nora gets this nice manicure. Remember that detail. And then she says she goes out and paints the town red and doesn't stumble home till 5 a.m. the next morning. I had no idea what was about to happen to me or, you know, how it would shape the rest of my life. I remember coming in and seeing the broken glass in my house. This is the glass she's talking about, part of a broken door window. There had been times when my mother had broken the glass before, like if she was locked out. That didn't register in my mind that something terrible had happened. As I went back to my bedroom, I noticed that my mom's door was open. And I don't even think that I could even describe what I saw, let alone what I felt. But um, I found my mom. At the foot of the bed? Uh, yeah. Can I have just one second? It's still hard for her to talk about. And here's why. Jennifer Jackson is covered in blood, sprawled naked on the floor, stabbed 50 times. Nancy Grace has studied the case. The mom was so brutalized, just soaked in blood. She had stab wounds to every part of her body. She wasn't moving. I remember um, shaking her, and then I remember being scared. I remember running across the street to get help. Nora rouses a neighbor, and they run back to the house together. She says panic has set in by the time she calls 911. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, please help me. Please send somebody. Okay, listen to me, ma'am. I need you to calm down, okay, so we can help your mother. Okay? <laughs> An ugly crime, a pretty victim, and a mushrooming who done it. The 39-year-old Jackson was killed over the weekend. But what makes this case truly remarkable is that this isn't the first time. Nora Jackson's been through this before. Her father was killed a year and a half ago. That's right. This is actually the second time one of Nora Jackson's parents has turned up dead.